that is uh, focus uh, on the understanding and targeting of splicing factor mutations and uh, will be given by Dr. Oshimi from Memorial Sloan Kettering, New York. Thank you, Chairman. <coughs> and <coughs> I'd like to thank organizers and committee uh, for this kind of invitation uh, to the great meeting and for giving me opportunity to uh, present our recent work on uh, splicing factor mutation in mitral leukemia. Uh, I have nothing to disclose. <coughs> so my talk today is about the coordinated alteration, uh, alteration in RNA splicing and epigenetic regulation, uh, which drive leukemogenesis, or well, more specifically about um, uh, cooperativity between ID2 and SRSF2 mutation in mitral leukemia. So mutation affecting splicing factor are frequently found in the mild, uh, variety of mild leukemia, <coughs> sorry, including MDS and ML. And these uh, leukemia associated uh, splicing factor mutation uh, occur almost entirely uh, at uh, uh, heterozygous point mute as a heterozygous point mutation at a specific residue. So for example, uh, SRSO2 have uh, a hotspot at P95H. So this mutation, uh, this observation suggests that uh, this mutation uh, alters RNA splicing preferences in a manner uh, distinct from loss of function. And actually, uh, this mutation alters splicing in a sequenced specific manner. And again, the uh, example is shown for SRS2 mutation, and the SRS2 mutant uh, preferentially recognizes uh, CCN G motif over GGN G motif uh, in exonic splicing enhancer, uh, which cause uh, global splicing changes. So, global changes to RNA splicing induced by mutant spliceome uh, are identifiable from RNA sequencing data. And then we asked if we can identify splicing factor mutation uh, based on downstream RNA splicing alteration in AML. And for this purpose, uh, we analyzed uh, uh, RNA sequencing data set from uh, ML TCGA cohort. And in the previous uh, public, uh, TCGA publication, uh, only one patient was reported to have a uh, SRS2 mutation. And first, we uh, defined mutant SRSF2 specific uh, splicing signature uh, based on the well-established well uh, mutant SRSF2 target, uh, such as the uh, uh, splicing event observed in EGA2 and FinGene. And we, we applied this splicing signature uh, to the RNA sequencing data set. And then, then we identify uh, 19 patients uh, who had a mutant SRSF2 specific splicing signature, as shown here. And, and all the 19 patients have uh, SRSF2 mutation affecting uh, P95 hotspot uh, with a mean variant frequency of 33%. So, which makes SRSF2 uh, one of the most commonly mutated genes in AML. And interestingly, uh, about half of the SRSF2 mut mutant patients also have a coexisting IDS2 mutation uh, with statistical significance. And these trends are also observed in beta ML cohort and lucidic cohort. So IDH or uh, isocitrate dehydrogenase uh, participate in TC TCS cycle uh, to convert isocitrate into the uh, alpha ketoglutarate and the mutant IDH2 uh, further produced an uh, oncometabolite called uh, to hydroxyglutarate and this 2-HG uh, competitively uh, inhibit uh, alpha ketoglutarate dependent enzymes uh, including TET family protein and uh, Gimondi family protein, uh, which uh, cause uh, DNA hypermethylation and hist histone modification. And we now have a, a mutant selective ID2 uh, inhibitor. So we have uh, uh, following two questions from this observation. And one, uh, first one is, uh, what is the biological basis and the molecular mechanism 
uh, for frequently overlapping uh, IDH2 and SLR2 mutation in mild leukemia and do mutant SLR2 create uh, therapeutic vulnerabilities in uh, IDH2 mutant leukemias? Uh, to address the first question, uh, we set up the BMT experiment uh, using a, uh, sorry, uh, SLR2 mutant or wild type primary bomber cell, and we transduce ID to Y type of mutant uh, using retrovirus and transplanted the cell into the recipient mice. And as shown here in green, uh, the double mutant mice has a shorter survival uh, compared to the other groups uh, developing a lethal uh, MDSMPN. And we tested the uh, uh, replating capacity of the bumero cell from the uh, end-stage mice. And the uh, double mutant cell has uh, uh, clearly enhanced chronogenic, chronogenic activity uh, with plastic morphology and uh, LSK-like uh, immature immune phenotype. And these double mutant cells are also uh, serially transplantable. And these phenotypes are also recaptured in the uh, double knocking mice. And again, these uh, double mutant mice develop MDSMPN, uh, which was uh, characterized by increase in the blast and immature uh, monostic cells, uh, as well as uh, the dysplasia in erythroid and uh, granulocytes. So to understand the molecular mechanism of uh, the cooperativity between IDH2 and SLCO2, uh, we analyzed the splicing, RNA splicing in the TCG RNA, uh, RNA sequencing data set. And this Venn diagram uh, shows the number of aberrantly spliced gene, and we, this revealed that the largest splicing changes uh, is observed in double mutant ML, and only a portion of portion of events are shared with uh, SRC2 single mutant, and mutant ID to uh, cause uh, smaller but significant splicing changes. And again, uh, the similar trend was observed in the BTML dataset as well as in the uh, RN sequencing dataset from our collaborator, Dan Weizmann, from the uh, uh, University of Manchester. We confirmed uh, uh, these uh, misplacing events uh, using RT-PCR, and uh, some of these events uh, are specific for the ID to mutant ML, and the others are for the, uh, specific for uh, SRCF2 mutation. And given that uh, uh, splicing is a co-transcriptional process, uh, we hypothesized that uh, mutant ID to mediated DNA methylation uh, may might somehow uh, affect the transcriptional regulation or the RNA port dynamics, uh, which in turn uh, affect splicing. So we first analyzed that the global DNA methylation level uh, in the ML, uh, in the TCG ML uh, cohort and uh, Unsupervised clustering uh, revealed a distinct hypermethylation cluster of uh, ID2 SRS2 double mutant patient, and uh, the DNA methylation level of double mutant ML uh, much, yeah, was much higher than the uh, uh, ID2 mutant ML. And we further performed the ERRBS using a primary ML sample uh, to look into, look into the uh, DNA methylation level at the differentially spliced site. Uh, and this is a little bit uh, complicated figure, but I would like to highlight that uh, at the differentially spliced site uh, between the SRS single mutant and double mutant ML, uh, you have a much higher uh, DNA methylation. And this, is the, uh, this figure is showing the example of overlap uh, of aberrant splicing and DNA methylation. And uh, the, this gene, RE3A, uh, has the exon 2 skipping uh, in double mutant ML, and which was coupled with uh, uh, 
DNA hypermethylation, uh, which was determined by e ERLBS in double mutant AML. And then we focused on the uh, mispricing event in the uh, int3, uh, uh, integrator 3 uh, gene, uh, because uh, this uh, mispricing event in SRS2 mutant or double mutant cell ML uh, was one of the most uh, robust changes. And uh, integrator 3 is a component of integrator complex, uh, which is involved in the transcriptional post release and the USNR uh, processing. And we confirmed the uh, mispricing event uh, using RT PCR uh, of uh, primary ML patient sample. And uh, this aberrant transcript was uh, expected to be a target of uh, NMD. We also evaluated the protein expression level of in 3 in the ML patient sample. And as shown here, the double mutant ML has a profound decrease in the in 3 uh, protein expression level. And this is a quantification of Western blot. So we further analyzed uh, the DNA methylation level and the RNA port abundance uh, around the industry mispriced region uh, using targeted bisulfide sequence and chip, sequence, chip, chip uh, experiments. And uh, SRC2 mutant uh, ML uh, cells have higher uh, DNA methylation level, uh, which was coupled with uh, the RNA port storing, as shown here. And the double mutant cell has even higher IDN methylation and RNA port storing. And when, when we uh, treated uh, SRC2 mutant or double mutant cell with uh, the cytobin, uh, this treat treatment uh, significantly decreased the uh, uh, industry mispricing event. And also, uh, the RNA port storing was decreased upon treatment. So to further un understand the uh, uh, molecular uh, consequence of int 3 uh, depletion, uh, we analyzed the gene expression pattern in the ID2 mutant HL60 cell uh, with or without int 3 depletion. And uh, in the GSEA analysis, uh, multiple uh, gene sets are significant significantly affected. And these two are the example of such uh, gene set. Uh, these two are uh, associated with hematopoietic cell uh, differentiation or myeloid cell differentiation. Which, so this observation suggested that uh, insulin depletion might uh, uh, affect the myeloid cell differentiation. So to test this hypothesis, uh, we took advantage of the ATRA-induced uh, myeloid differentiation system uh, in HL60 cell, and mutant ID2 didn't affect this uh, uh, differentiation pattern, but uh, SRC2 mutant cell has uh, uh, Im impaired uh, myeloid differentiation, uh, which was further uh, enhanced in double mutant cell. And and importantly, uh, overexpression of int 3 in double mutant cell uh, almost completely uh, restored the, uh, the myeloid differentiation blockade. And we also analyzed the effect of uh, int 3 depletion in uh, IDH2 mutant primary mass bone marrow. And in a serial replating assay, uh, this IDH2 mutant uh, insulin depleted cell has uh, enhanced uh, clonogen activity, as shown here. And also in the bone marrow transplantation assay, uh, this uh, cell calls uh, lethal hemodis MPN, uh, as we observed in the IDH2 and SRSF2 double mutant mice. <laughs> and, in the next few slides, I, I would like to address the, the second question. And uh, this is a uh, report from uh, AG221 uh, clinical trial. And again, uh, SRCF2 is the most frequently co-occurring uh, mutation in IDH2 mutant ML. However, the uh, overall response rate was 33 for, uh, 34 percent, uh, which is not uh, high enough. Uh, on the other hand, uh, uh, our groups and uh, our group and others uh, have shown that 
uh, splastomal mutant cell are more sensitive to the pharmacological uh, inhibition of uh, splastome compared to wild type cell. And I realized that the name of this session is uh, New Drugs and uh, Combination. I added this, this slide. Uh, for and to test the, the efficacy of uh, combination therapy of ID2 inhibitor and uh, spirostomal inhibitor, uh, we mixed uh, CD45.2 uh, double mutant cell with a wild type control at a one to one ratio and transplanted this cell into the recipient mice. And after PIPC, we treated, treated these mice with uh, VCO ID2 inhibitor. Uh, spirosomal inhibitor and the combination therapy for two weeks. And uh, basically, uh, these uh, representative fax plot and the quantification revealed that the combination therapy uh, preferentially killed the double mutant cell in these mice. So, this observation suggests that uh, SRS2 mutation created therapeutic vulnerability in added to mutant leukemias. So in conclusion, uh, IDS2 and SRS2 mutation uh, commonly coexist in myeloid leukemia, and mutant IDS2 co cooperates with uh, mutant SRS2 to generate MDSMPN in vivo, and mutant IDS2 alter splicing uh, mediated by mutant SRS2 via uh, DNA hypermethylation and RN port to storing, and loss of function of the integrator complex may uh, contribute to ID2 mutant leukemogenesis, and combined inhibition of mutant ID2 and spirosum has synergistic effect on ID2 SRC2 double mutant cell in vivo. So with that, uh, I'd like to, uh, so the many collaborator has uh, contributed to this work, and I'd like to thank uh, especially for Omar for leading this project, and Udi from Adrian Lab for the splicing analysis, Dan Weizmann uh, for providing us with uh, plenty of uh, patient sample, as well as the chip seek and RNA sequencing data set, and Andy and Ross for sharing the mutant mice, and H3 Biomedicine for sharing the uh, splicing inhibitor, and for my grant. Uh, thank you for your attention. So thank you very much for this very interesting data. The presentation is open for questions and discussion. Uh, I will start with a, with a question. Did you have the chance to uh, look in your data set uh, um, to the clonal hierarchy of SRSF2 and uh, IDH2 mutations? That means is mostly SRSF2 preceding IDH2 mutations or vice versa? And yeah. uh, may this uh, have an impact uh, on the eff efficacy of, uh, of uh, potential treatment? Yeah, uh, we checked uh, the buff of ID2 and SRSF2 in the multiple data set, and uh, basically the, their buff is around 30%, uh, between 30% to 50%, so we couldn't uh, yeah, determine which come first and which come later. So, yeah, I think that. They are occurring almost at the same time in the beginning okay. of the. So they appear to be co, co dominant in, in, yeah, in the clones. Okay, no further questions. Thank you very much. Thank you.